The Pro Act Know How. Hi, welcome to this episode of Living and Working Abroad. And today with me is Michael Walters, founder and CEO of Fitbiz 360, a online uh, software to support small, medium-sized businesses go through change and, and development, uh, but also an expat. Uh, Michael, yeah. what's the one thing that left you to led to you living abroad? I think it was a bit of empty nest syndrome. The children had left home and doing their own things, wanted a new challenge and an opportunity came up for me to work in the Middle East and talking it through with my wife, we decided to go for it. Okay. So what was the impact on your wider family? It was a little bit mixed. Um, I think my parents were supportive but with reservations because of the distance between us and, and the frequency that we could see each other. But otherwise it was a very positive response and um, it encouraged us and motivated us to go ahead with it. Well you were already in business when you relocated and how did it impact your business? It was really a change of career moving from a management consultant and I actually went to work for a large advertising agency global brand in the Middle East. Um, so it was something I'd worked obviously with agencies in the past but never for an agency. So this was again, some, it was an opportunity to expand my own horizons and skill set. And what do you wish you'd known before you were relocating abroad? I think probably I should have known more about the financial issues and impacts um, because then I had to almost make it up as I went along. So maybe that's not such a good idea. It's, so it's what, what you're saying in, in summary is that you should have contacted Private Partnership and spoken to their relocation tax uh, Absolutely. Uh, advisors. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, sorry, carry on. No, no, I think, I, think that's, I think that's fair. So what's the best thing about expat life for you? I think the biggest bonus is, well, two, two big bonuses really. It's, it's broadening your horizons. You know, you're meeting different cultures, different people, uh, different working situations. So it makes you think about what you're doing rather than doing it by number. I think when you're in the same environment all the time, you do things by rote. You don't ne necessarily develop or learn anything new. Uh, and the second one is the sunshine. It's, um, it's great to pick a, a country to move to that has a lot more sunshine than the UK. Okay. And um, what would you recommend to any new expats? in 2021? Apart from the fact that yes they should go for it, the caveat is go for it but make sure you do your proper research, you get in touch with, with an organisation like Proact so you understand fully what you're getting into because part of the reason I'm sure you would make steps like this is you want to enhance your income, you want to increase your assets and it's, it's very easy to not do those things if you don't do the research. In the UK, we, we thought after 2018 and 19 and all the Brexit mayhem, nothing could get any worse. Now we've had 2020 with Covid and Brexit um, and, and tax deadlines and, and change and interruption. And I think that that's a big disruptor and it means that the world will not stay the same. There, there will be changes and businesses have got to look forward to that and I think that, that's the big opportunity for businesses. If, if uh, a company in the UK is going to allow its staff to work remotely for three or four or five days a week uh, down the road, why can't they live in the Mediterranean by the sun? Why can't they live in Australia? Why can't they live in... Uh, <laughs> No, I, I, South America. I, so I'm thinking of all the wonderful places to live. So, you know, Perth, uh, Chile, uh, Lima, you know, uh, Portugal, uh, Spain. For, for UK expats, the, the, the rules have changed slightly, but they're still the same. 
uh, and it's the non-EU rules that apply to UK expats as well as the rest of the expats around the world. So the, the, and there are more business opportunities for people to work online than abroad. How would your business fit in with that? Well, that, that was the whole idea that by coming up with an online solution, so software as a service, uh, firstly, it means that there is no software for anyone to manage or download. We take care of that. So it's just a case of you can access it from anywhere, which is in line with what you're saying. Um, the, the, if you really tap into the technology, it doesn't matter where you are located or where your client or the business that you're trying to work with is located. Uh, what we see, Michael, is, is lots of expats with different experiences in different countries, but essentially they're all the same. If you take care of your family and take care of your business, then the life you make is, is the life um, that, that, that you can dream of uh, to create, whether that's retired on a beach or whether it's uh, building a business in a new culture and uh, a new city. Uh, join us again next time uh, for some more Living and Working Abroad chats on our podcast. And uh, thanks very much for listening. And if you want more information or to contact us, go to parrotpartnership.com or fitspid360.com. Thanks very much. Thank you. The ProAct Know-How, brought to you by ProAct.